All right, hello everyone. Um, finally got around to uh, trying this this little experiment to work with the Relook Buddy and an external sound card. In this case, an external audio interface. Um, what I have here is the Personas uh, 20, Studio 24C. So, you know, doing this because I'm not very satisfied with the sound quality coming from the Reloop itself. Um, been experiencing a lot of uh, noise. You know, it's, it's even worse when I plug in a, uh, a computer, a laptop. But whether I plug in, whether I'm working with my iPad or with my MacBook, you know, I get a whole lot of noise uh, coming through the mains. So we're going to try this out. So the way to do this, first of all, is we're going to switch the um, reloop mode from PC, from iOS to PC. Even though we're using an iPad, we're going to switch and switch it to PC mode. We're also going to be using, I should have introduced this earlier, but this is a powered USB hub. So this is a 10 DAC, a 10 DAC um, USB 3.0 hub. Got this off of Amazon. That's the box right there. Very, yeah, pretty affordable. And there are tons of options as well. Um, so starting from here, so the reloop, run, you run the reloop. Uh, buddy, run the buddy. Um, you connect that into the USB hub, which of course is powered up right there. Let's get my camera in place. Um, you also run the personas into the USB hub right there. That's a really short cable. I will plug that in later. I wanted to show you something. I want to um, show something about this later. Um, I am also, so I'm, notice I'm using Apple's, you know, camera connection kit uh, for the iPad. So it's got USB-A and USB-C. So the USB-A actually, um, I've plugged the, uh, I've plugged the, um, what you call it? What is this thing called again? <laughs> I have plugged the USB hub into this, into the, uh, camera connection kit. I also have a little, you know, charger cable cable going uh, for my for my iPad. Now, you know, if you've DJ with an iPad with this with the Reload Buddy, you know that if you connect it directly to, you know, to power, and then you use its, uh, you know, iOS, um, you know, uh, USB port to plug in directly to the iPad. It not only sends data, but it also charges the iPad. Unfortunately, with this, that's not the case. So to keep my iPad charged, I got a little, um, you know, lightning to USB-A cable, which is plugged into the USB hub as well. All right. Did I miss anything? No. Okay, so the Personas right there is actually plugged into my... Um, a studio monitor there so that's what we use for sound okay so i'll go ahead and plug in this guy i'm going to plug the personas in all right so let's plug that in your pop which that's my bad you should not have done that should have turned the speaker off but i did that so you could see this so once i plug it in it actually says DJ has found a new MIDI device. Do you want to configure the device now? So I'll go ahead and say, okay, this is the first time I'm doing this. I might not need to do this actually, because this is for MIDI configuration. So what I really need is to set the output for DJ. I want to set the output, the main output to be 24C, and that's perfect. Another thing I would like to do, well, yeah, I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So the main output is set to 24C. I do have to figure out what to do with pre-queuing, probably do split output. I'll need to play with that a bit more. But um, yeah, basically this is what we have. Um, now, if I if I plug this or when I plug this into um, when I'm using my MacBook for this, 
I actually have the option to select the reload body for pre-queuing and then you know my studio 24c for main output so that way i can use the reloops you know um, headphone jack for queuing and then main output goes out there so for this guy of course this is going to be a little different and i do not know what that's going to look like yet but we'll figure that out i just want to make sure that when i actually play music I can hear it so let's go ahead and load the track as you can see you know it's it's, it's picking it up it's in you know so it's, it's connected so that's good um let's go ahead and play something it's playing and then my volume is all the way down and i don't hear anything because my settings are whack, but there you go. It's working. And as you can see, well, you can probably can't hear it, but I can hear it. There is no interference. There's no noise, and I'm so happy about that. Of course, I can regulate the video. So the great thing about, not regulate the video, what I meant to say is I can regulate the volume from here. Another good thing about this, of course, is I have two inputs. So I can plug in two mics or whatever else I want to plug in here. So, you know, compact if I wanted to, because of course the body doesn't have, you know, anything for a mic. But if I wanted to do that, I can do that with my external audio interface. And so... What we've been able to accomplish here is a super compact DJ setup because I love this controller. Uh, we've been able to add a couple more outputs or inputs, sorry, now that we're using an external sound card. And there are lots of options. Um, I think Focus, Right, Steinberg, uh, M Audio. There are tons of these out there. Many Behringer, lots of affordable options out there. Um, then another thing we've been able to do is, you know, bypass the um, uh, the body's um, internal sound card. And we're now using something that gives better quality audio without interference or noise. And that is that about that. <laughs>